Hey guys, Dave from LDX Training here, and I want to just briefly talk about what we're going to cover in this Learn Dash reporting course. So the very first thing we're going to cover is Learn Dash's built-in reports. This comes included with the Learn Dash plugin, regardless of which package you choose. Every Learn Dash plugin will have this. You go to Learn Dash LMS reports, and you have two basic options here for user reports. There's course data, and then there is quiz data. Both of these will provide a CSV file that you can download and then do whatever you want with the data from there. So you can import it into a Google spreadsheet, you can import it into all kinds of other different reporting tools and do whatever you'd like with the data. It's very much just some raw data stuff, but we'll just explain briefly what these uh, reports look like. The other thing here on this reports tab is a transactions page. Now this transaction page only works if you're using LearnDash's default payment methods. So those are with Stripe, PayPal, RazorPay, and I believe to checkout as well. But they have to be LearnDash's payment integrations. So if you're using any other third-party e-commerce platform like WooCommerce, Easy Digital Downloads, MemberPress, any of those other um, e-commerce plugins, then you won't see any information here in transactions. This is only if you're using the default um, Learn Dash payment methods will you see some reporting in here. So those are the only default reports that Learn Dash offers. The second thing we'll talk about and the, the thing that we cover the most in this course is going to be ProPanel. Now ProPanel is uh, built by Learn Dash. It's offered directly from Learn Dash. They support it and they maintain it, but it is a separate plugin. And with Learn Dash's new pricing that was updated at some point in 2022, it does look like ProPanel is an additional fee. So it is listed, I think, currently for $49 a year. Um, it may come included if you buy hosting from LearnDash through LearnDash Cloud. But if you're just buying the LearnDash plugin, it looks like ProPanel is a separate purchase that you need to make. But it, it does have a lot more reporting options right here in your dashboard than those CSV reports are going to provide. So in this, in this course, we will talk about all five of these different widgets that you see here. There's an overview, there's filtering, reporting, progress chart, and activity. So the filtering also has an email tab, which is a neat feature where you can email users based on different filtering. So different users in courses or just a specific user, um, users with different statuses, whether they have started or are in progress or have completed certain courses. So there is a lot more you can do with ProPanel and we'll cover all of that in this course. And the final thing we'll cover in this course is third-party reporting add-ons for LearnDash. There are uh, several of them out there. Some are free, some are paid, some are a combo of both free and paid, where you get some features for free, and then if you upgrade to the premium version, you get some additional reporting features. So this one right here that I'm showing you an example of first is called Easy Dash for Learn Dash. This one is free. I do believe there's a premium version, but um, most people are gonna just use the free version here. You can find it in the WordPress plugin repository and just download it completely for free, but it provides some uh, some numbers here at the top. It does some, provide some really nice graphs, um, both some bar graphs, some line graphs, um, some overlays with multiple pieces of information like you'll see here. And then um, there is some more tabular data down here at the bottom with um, some more details on courses and then student activity. So that's Easy Dash for Learn Dash, and that's free and we'll kind of go through some more of the settings on that one in this course. We'll also take a look at the Wisdom Reports for Learn Dash plugin. This is uh, relatively new. It was launched in 2022. Um, it does have a lot of information. It allows you to kind of customize your dashboard and create whatever kind of reporting you want with whatever metrics you want to show. It also does have a nice uh, date filter up here at the top where you can choose a custom date or some pre-selected options. It's got some general information just with some numbers at the top. It also has a handful of different graphs. You can filter things by category, by course, by lesson topic and group. You can do some quiz reporting, and then you've also got some time spent on a course, some completion rates, um, quite a few different things here. Some of these are premium features only. Um, a lot of them are free, but you will find that some of them are premium only. And then there are also some more detailed course reports down here at the bottom that you can also export into a CSV or an Excel file, um, or just use the table here for those reports. So. We'll cover more of which of the options are free and pro and all that kind of stuff here for the wisdom reports for LearnDash. The next one that we'll take a look at is the Tin Canny reporting for LearnDash plugin by Uncanny Owl. This is just a brief preview of what some of the reporting here looks like. Um, this is in the dashboard, but you can also create front end reports with this plugin as well. 
This is a premium only plugin, so you will have to pay to get access to this plugin, but I will say that it is probably the, the most impressive of all of the reporting plugins in terms of the kind of data it offers and all the different displays and all the different things that it, it can track. Um, so you'll see here, you can kind of come down here and get more detailed information about some of these course reportings. There's uh, user reports, which give you more of a user um, overview and you can break down those even further as well. And then if you're using uh, Tin Can or XAPI um, for quiz actions, you can also track all of that data if you're using those publishing methods um, and uploading those files. So there's a lot you can do with this plugin. It is premium only, but we'll cover uh, that in more detail in this course. And we don't have a lesson on this yet, but we do plan on publish, uh, publishing something soon. Um, we haven't been able to get our hands on a copy of the Users Insights plugin yet. Um, it is also premium only, and it has sort of two different things that it offers. It offers general Learn Dash reports. As you can see here, these are some of the graphs and charts that it offers in terms of Learn Dash reporting, and it goes into more detail on their website where you can learn more about it. So while we don't have a lesson on this just yet, and I can't walk you through everything uh, in a video, you can get some really good information because they've documented things really well and provided a lot of cool screenshots. In addition to that, um, true to its name of Users Insights, they also have another piece that is basically a lot of user data that lets you um, search and filter through users and look at lists of users and all kinds of different activity, um, courses, lessons, quizzes, all that kind of stuff. And you can sort and filter um, by a lot of different, different options. And their, their website does a nice job of breaking all of this down. It does have some integrations as well with like WooCommerce uh, memberships and subscriptions. So it does mention that here at the bottom of this article. Um, so this is a great option. We won't cover it in uh, super detail just yet in the course, but hopefully we will be able to get our hands on it later. Um, just one that we want to mention that you should also check out. So we'll dive in in more detail. Again, a uh, big emphasis on ProPanel, but we also are going to look at um, every other third-party reporting tool for LearnDash except for this User Insights one. Hopefully we can add something later, but um, we'll go into more detail on uh, all of the reporting options for LearnDash. So if you're interested, feel free to go ahead and sign up, and we look forward to having you.